Today, I'm excited to show off a brief demo of how you can easily and quickly train custom Azure AI form recognizer models with our platform, Snorkel Flow. Snorkel Flow is a data-centric ML development platform that offers 10 to 100x speedups in development time for producing production-ready ML models. Snorkel Flow's unique workflow incorporates programmatic labeling to drastically accelerate what's often the most time-consuming portion of AI development, labeling training data. This is paired with integrated model training and model guided error analysis so that you can rapidly iterate and achieve high quality training data in models, even over complex and highly variable data. The net impact is that you're able to train models like custom form recognizer models in a fraction of the time compared to labeling training data by hand. In this demo, our goal is to accelerate the creation of a custom form recognizer model by programmatically labeling training data in snorkel flow rather than having to label it by hand. As part of the demo, we're going to take a look at how the integration between Snorkel Flow and Azure Form Recognizer lets us automate data extraction from complex, highly variable documents and forms, label training data 10 to 100x faster, and provide quality control over those models to achieve high performance results. We'll be using a data set of real estate and construction contracts and extracting dollar amounts of interest, such as the original contract amount, which you can see here, the current contract amount, which is not in this contract itself, and contract value modifications included in the document, such as this value here. These contracts have a wide variety of formats depending on the year or the specific legal process. Taking a look at the overall workflow again, we have Snorkel Flow running on Azure Kubernetes service, though it could be on any Kubernetes cluster and in, in any cloud. Our data is stored in Azure Blob service as individual PDF documents. This will happen behind the scenes, but using our template workflow, Snorkel Flow will orchestrate the ingestion and pre-processing of those documents using the form recognizer layout model to identify words, tables, lines, and other structures of interest within the document itself. That's represented by this first stage here. At this point, form recognizer won't be able to identify specific entities of interest, such as identifying that a specific dollar amount represents the current contract value. But we'll use that information provided by running the form recognizer layout model to programmatically label a training data set of hundreds or thousands of documents, and then train our custom form recognizer model. That custom model will then be able to identify the specific entities of interest in new unseen documents. We'll then follow the iterative snorkel flow development loop where we can again create training data sets, train models, and then analyze their performance in order to improve their quality as we work towards building a production ready model. To power the workflow, we'll be using snorkel flow's PDF specific development environment to programmatically label our training data set and then iteratively train models and analyze their performance to know whether we should be investing in updating our training data or retraining our model. Let's dive into the PDF development environment in Snorkel Flow. At this point, Snorkel Flow has already pre-processed our data set using Form Recognizer's layout model. And our goal is to now label as much training data as possible, identifying the dollar amounts of interest in each contract so that we can train a high quality Form Recognizer model to automatically identify these specific entities in new documents. Instead of labeling each document manually, we're going to translate our domain knowledge of what to look for when labeling into what we call labeling functions. And those will be able to label our entire training data set at machine speed, rather than us having to flip through and manually label example by example. On the left here, we can see a few of the labeling functions I've already written. This first one is labeling uh, entities as value modifications. It's first looking to see if the entity looks like a dollar amount. And then if it's in the same row as a pattern that looks like plus or minus, according to this regular expression, and then finally, if it's to the right of the pattern plus or minus within a specific percentage of, of the size of the page. Taking a look at another one here, this one is instead looking for current value. Similarly, though, it is looking for entities that look like dollar amounts, according to this regular expression at the top, and then checking to see if they're in the same line as a regular expression uh, that looks like current. Of course, those labeling functions aren't going to work perfectly on every single document. And in fact, Snorkel Flow is already estimating that many of them won't have 100% precision, such as these first couple here. In addition to being noisy, they also might conflict with each other. But we've built Snorkel Flow using the years of research that we've done on weak supervision and automated data labeling so that Snorkel Flow can take care of all of that for us under the hood and create one high quality set of training data labels using these programmatic inputs and any manual labels that we've provided. Even after writing just a few labeling functions, Snorkel Flow is telling me that we'll get a training data set of around 1600 labeled entities on the full set of documents that we've uploaded. So I'm now gonna have Snorkel Flow label our entire data set again 
programmatically in maybe hundreds or thousands of contracts, and then denoise and combine those labels using its suite of algorithms under the hood. CircleFlow is also going to version and manage this training set, and I can now use it to train a model. We can kick off a form recognizer model training job right from CircleFlow. I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to provide a name and go ahead and click train model. CircleFlow here is already configured to use our external Azure form recognizer service. CircleFlow will track the progress and we can also see it training in the form recognizer console. Let me go ahead and refresh and our model training job should show up here. Great, so this model training job is about to start. I actually already have a model here that finished training. So we can see how it performs on unseen documents directly in Form Recognizer. I'll go over to the test tab, navigate and find the document that I'd like to upload. And now Form Recognizer is going to go ahead and process this document using the custom model that we trained previously. This should just finish up in a second and we'll be able to see the extracted entities that Form Recognizer identified um, here on the right hand side. So we can see that in this document, we're extracting the entities, the exact ones that we would expect. We have the original contract award here, we have the current contract value here, and we have a value modification here. Additionally, Form Recognizer is providing us some confidence scores based on the output of the model. Now, of course, we want to understand our model's performance beyond a single example model. And from that, how we may need to improve it. And that's really where the iterative workflow and snorkel flow comes into play. Clicking over to the analysis page for the model that we previously trained, we can see that Snorkel Flow is measuring the performance against a held out ground truth labeled validation set. We can see the overall precision and recall scores here at the top. And we can also go click deeper and see some of the specific analyses that are really going to guide our actions. As an example, we can see our confusion matrix here. And for example, this cell represents that the model was making mistakes predicting a uh, label of value modification when in fact the ground truth was a current value. Beyond just seeing the count here that's saying that one document was in this error bucket, we can actually click in and Snorkel Flow is going to take us back to Studio uh, and show us the, the examples that were in that bucket of the confusion matrix. From here, I can go review the information, label and update my training data either programmatically or manually then retrain my model and again get the same analyses to see how things have improved. Right, that's it for today's demo. Thanks again for taking the time to join us, taking a look at how programmatically labeling training data in Snorkel Flow enables you to accelerate the creation of custom form recognizer models. Lots of possibilities to enable really high value use cases for enterprise data science teams, especially working with incredibly valuable data sets. Thanks again, and if you want to find out more, you can check out our website at snorkel.ai.